Ik ben Marjolein. En Marjolein, what kind of hairstyle you want? Uh, kort? Ja, yeah, short. Short? Of course, short. Short, of course. En. <laughs> um, And I would like to have some summer yeah. uh, blonde color, yeah. something Platinum. really different yeah, yeah, yeah. and special. Okay, it's the first time you go for blonde. Um, in the past I have had highlights, yeah, um, that's only not a little the same. bit, that's but not the same. same, no. Will you turn so you can see how your current hairstyle is? When yes. And it's about six weeks ago that you had a haircut. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, got myself a new model. Now I've catched her on the, in the saloon because uh, she was uh, with my partner doing her hair, mostly she does. And I asked her to model for me one time, and maybe more, <laughs> you never know. So Marjolaine wants to have, of course, a short hairstyle. She always has a short hairstyle. But we're going also for platinum blonde. I did also. It's the rest over of customer. And just put it on my head. Start by wetting the hair a bit, not too much. And starting on top. Come the hair through. Watch it falls. See it's the opposite line. Wet it a bit more. Start in the shorter side. Hold my fingers in the line of the hair fall. So I just take them up in that line. Go from the front to the back in about seven till nine times. This is my first baseline. Every time taking up in the line of the hair fold. So when I see the rounding changing, I also change my finger position. Lay the hairs back. Go back to the first line. Hold my hands on a nice skull, into the rounding of the skull, so I adopt the natural lines. The more I go off that line, the harder it is to get a good hairstyle. Lay the hairs back. Go back to the front. Go into the turn. Work like a clock. Take off about time about a centimeter here. And go again into the line and into the fall of the hairs. So I stay watching what the hair does on the skull. It's very important, especially with short hair, that you go in the flow of the hairs. Waiting in between. Coming on the rounding, starting in the front, hold my fingers again on the skull and onto the rounding. So the shortest hair is about a finger thick. Turn a bit so you can see what I'm doing. When I come to the parts above the ear, I see there is a change in turning because there's a crown area. The crown area is here. So I have to watch what this crown area does and again just go into the flow of that. So you get nicely the fold of the hairs into that line. The crown area is crown. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the weather for wind on start. Yeah. Then when you get at this fall, you see there is the change in lines. So the lines are going to the other part. So they turn around. So I also adopt this line by turning around. And 
making sure I have the same lines as the hair gives me. Cross control. And back to the other lines. So you get a nice natural fall on this line. So there's no, when I turn it to the sides, you can see this, there's no bank in the overflow of that hair I didn't cut and the hair I cut. And for you as klant, you have nooit van mij allemaal denken. I think it's very interesting. Interesting, yeah. Say what the meest, hoor. Diana heeft wel eens in het begin een beetje wat verteld, maar yeah. niet, niet precies wat jij net zegt. Nee, nee, nee. So I lay the hairs again into the natural fall. My cut was still the fall of the skull. So I go in, hold my fingers on that line. Take every time a small part. Go in and go into the running again. When I come to the front, I, I make this playful because I know it will be platinum blonde, so I go in slicing, make a nice soft line into the facial lines. That think well, like some light, some different. Get it in, thank it. That did more, yes, some zoom with you. Go slicing just using the tip of my scissor. <laughs> and then with some some mesh, and I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fat mesh. I want to have a little bit of stuff in it. And that does it then. So I make a nice small tease into the hairstyle. So it gets more shape. Just travel over the rounding by slice cutting in a slipping way. And she has a lot of hair on top. Yes. <laughs> Thick. Always. That's the right side of life. Always look at the bright side of life. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. So you see it's nice, getting nice and soft and trendy. So when she wiggles now, you see all the different lengths in it, and that makes it more, more exciting. Going to the other side. Mm -hmm. Over the fall, I go also slicing into the running. Gently slipping with my blades through the hairs, taking off only also small parts, you can see them laying on my blades. Being aware of the crown area, of course, it is not a shot there, but otherwise it jumps up. And I really love free hand slicing. Gives that wonderful feeling of giving it a character. Clean the face. Take a different comb, lifting up the hairs. Don't have to be a ultra hard hair style, so. First part is just the scissor over comb. I really love to do this because the techniques are really wonderful. And it learns to appreciate the natural shapes of the skull and of the hairs.
Dat vind ik altijd zo'n lekker geluidje. Mm -hmm. Is dit een verdund schaar? Of... Nee hoor. Oh, gewone. Gewone schaar. Ja, dat is een beetje na. Je kunt niks zien, hè? Nee. <laughs> Jammer. <laughs> ja, je kunt het straks allemaal terugzien. Dat is ja, goed. Ja. Aan alle kanten. Voor- en achterkant. See how wonderful this is. And how wonderful it softens it has. Coming on the rounding. Get in of the line of cutting. Hold my comb in the same position as the hair falls. And pushing the hairs up, so in opposite lines, so you can see the difference in length. Now, het leuke is voor jou vooral, je hebt nu een tijdbeeld dadelijk, wat nooit meer weggaat. Dit stukje leven wat je nou uh -huh. hebt geleefd, dat blijft altijd bestaan. Uh -huh. Dat is gewoon mooi. I worked till the cap on the half of the head because there. I get that turn and I'm going to show you how I go into the turn. So you see how wonderful the softness is. But you can also see the difference in length because when you go to this side, you see how long this is. This is about uh, three, two and a half centimeters, uh, about an inch. And this side is ultra short. Coming to the rounding of the skull. Watch what the hair does. It travels from here into there, then to there. So you have a nice S shape into the hairs. Lift it up. Go in the opposite lines of that. Take your time. Just watch through the hairs and adopt the roundings. And although it is short hair, it's still ultra feminine. I just work till I get a little bit over the fall of the skull. The other lines I do with the clipper. flesjes mm -hmm. inpakken. Dus je hebt dan de combinatie van de schaar en bij hun hoor je dat oh, rinkelen ja. van die flesjes. Ik vind dat echt heel mooi geluid. Dat moet ik ook nog een keer opnemen. Als ik... Come to the side. Take the ass up. Now I work till the cat to the back. Come on the line where I start, ended my cut of the back. Still pushing on the hairs. So I set my comb in and travel lightly up. Volgens mij geschoren vrij. Ja, dat klopt. Die waren op de, ja, gewoon heel dun. Ruikt dadelijk ook dun. Hè? Ja. Dat is wel het mooiste. Dan krijg je dat hele schone gevoel ook. Je zei net van uh, kort, maar nog steeds heel vrouwelijk. Wat, ja. wat maakt nou haar of mijn haar of het kapsel zo vrouwelijk dan? De lijn, de zachtheid van de lijn. Als je mannelijke lijnen zet, zet je hele harde lijnen. Ja. En als je, dus, dat doe je dit ook helemaal met de tondeus. En dan werk je ook een harde oh. lijn op. En je werkt mm -hmm. de contourlijn heel hard uit. Bij allebei volg je wel iets van een schedel. Nou, bij herenkapsels iets minder, omdat het veel korter ja. gaat. Take the fine part of my comb. Take the hairs up behind the ears. Make my first connection to the line. On the fall of the skull. Into the other lines. What I told you, I do the underlines with the clipper. So I take off that what I don't need. And where I want to hold the softness of the lines.
again the fine part of my comb watch what I did turn a bit when you go for short hair you can see where the hair was thick because there's also natural shades that are different where the hair is the thickest uh, and you create some air into the hairs the color between it is lighter it didn't develop that dark so that you can see on lighter spots in the hair there was the hair thicker So when I would leave it this way, the color would be the same in uh, less than a day because it oxidates on the color and on the air. Ook allemaal zo interessant wat je nou vertelt. Ja. Over die kleuren. Ja, ja. Dus op sommige plekken is het nu wat lichter, maar ja. morgen niet. Ja, ja, nou dadelijk is alles weer lichter. Ja, oké, okay, maar als we het niet zouden kleuren. Nee, als ze niet zouden kleuren, dan was dat morgen dezelfde kleur. Zie je bij mensen zoals als knippen dat die kortere stukjes lichter zijn met kleur. En dat duurt dan eventjes en dan zijn ze dik weer, binnen een dag zijn ze weer donkerder. Ja. Als je een haar uit de huid trekt, heb je ook gewoon een witte haar. Dat stukje is gewoon wit wat nog niet boven de huid zit. Uh -huh. Er is ook nog geen uh, zuurstof bij geweest. Dus dat is vaak zo'n wit vriemeltje wat eraan zit. I really love this kind of skulls to work on. Because I like the shades very much. This kind of skulls? Yeah, I, I really have a skull fetish, I think. <laughs> But I love it when there still is hair on it. <laughs> I love it when it's alive. <laughs> But I also have an ear fetish and a hair fetish mm -hmm. also. And I really love to do hair. I will do this till the end of my life. So I never stop doing it. Maybe one time I'll be the oldest on YouTube. Uh -huh. I don't know if somebody will watch it, but it doesn't matter. There will still be some grannies or children I did in the youth there of that will watch my YouTube videos, I think. I got a message from Barbara, I did her hair when she was young. I think about uh, 18, 20, and now she's mother and has a child, and she lives in Sweden, and she comes to the Netherlands to do a haircut. So the, the love of it will always stay. Now this was the part I do with the scissor over comb, so now I go clipper over comb. Hold the same comb. Leaning against the hair fall, especially on the contour line. and create a soft overflow from the contour line into the hairs. You don't have to push the clipper into the head. Just let the clipper do that work. Put my blade to the back, into a common position. The same I did with the comb. I go over the contour line. Take only the tip of my clipper, clean the contour, get rid of small hairs, put it in the sharpest position, go over the line and start behind the ear. Whereas I told you the S is 
I work in the opposite lines, of course. So I get a nice fold through the hairs. Who are you here, actually? Geen idee, hè? Nee. Put my blade to the back again, coming from above, because there's an opposite fold into the hairs. They jump up like that. Then go in the other lines. Maar als er genoeg tijd is, ja, dan is dat zeker. Oh, dat gaan we doen, dat gaan we doen. We hebben tijd zat. En zij heeft het al vaker gezegd uh, om, om het te vergen of zo. Ja. Maar ja, elke keer wel ook niet. Maar toen jij het ook zei, en toen gewoon dat moment was, het een van al weer... De trigger. Ja. De tijd rijdt, ik weet niet. Ja. En omdat jullie het allebei zeiden, dat was ook overtuigend. Van, oh, dat zal je echt mooi staan. Ja, dat staat je echt prachtig. Dus dat is inderdaad wel leuk voor haar als ze dat ook te zien Ja, zeker. Ja, ze ziet ja. natuurlijk ook de film wel. Ja. ja. Ik kwam erachter, zeg maar. Dus niet op die kant. Je ziet dat mijn guide is de kom. The comb puts the hairs the way I like them to be cut. To set them straight or pulling them a bit down. Some people say the scissors are the most important thing, that's not true. I think the comb is the most important thing. <laughs> yeah, some of you, yeah. Ik bedoel, dat is niet zo een van twee mogelijke Nee, nee, nee. Ik weet niet of er is translation in deze video, maar ik denk niet voor niet iedereen. Ze vraagt me of onze combs ook zo expensief zijn. De meeste combs zijn, als je naar de expensief ones gaat, so zoals carbon, dan krijg je combs van 6 tot 10 euro in de Nederlands. So dat is veel geld voor een comb. It's not a new invention. The Romans had it also. <laughs> Going to the last part. Yeah, I know the scissors can be expensive. But... Scissors go from uh, 15 euros till a thousand. Yeah. Or more. So when you compare, uh, the is not so full expensive. No, no, no. But. It's the most important tool you have. Yeah, yeah. For me, when I, yeah, when I miss a call, I can, yeah, can feel feel work. hurt. Yeah. Because then I have to find to, a solution to overcome that, and that's hard to do. You cannot use your fingers for everything. No, 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 no. no. So far the large clipper, now only have to do the contour with a small clipper and then I'm gonna make a bleach. Small clipper of Kiona, set out nice real sharp lines but still feminine. The feminine thing is the way the lines are and how soft they flow into each other. Make use of the natural shapes of the neckline. Also not leaning too hard on the skin because this gives irritation by bleaching. And support my clipper of course with the other hand. Give her protection for coloring and make her bleach. We want the protection for coloring, water resistant cape. Not that I'm gonna smash it with water. Short hair, so don't put protection on my hands, you don't need to touch the hairs. 
my world famous plastic foil. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Not everybody knows that it's so easy to work with this. You made the bleach on 3% base, as pen volume. It's a blue bleach of Lacme with fire content. Make a photo of the product and put it right now into the video. Starting on top. It's cold. <laughs> yes, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold outside. But it will be warmer. Yeah. Ik gisteren goede dag. Max heeft gewonnen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> was echt nou, wat maakt niet uit dat Max wint, maar voor mij, maar het was Max, echt een super uh, mooie race. Ja, yeah. echt super mooie race gisteren. Wauw, ten opzichte van de race daarvoor, de week daarvoor, twee weken daarvoor, is echt, echt een saaie race. Ik ben op een gegeven naar bed gegaan. <laughs> dat, zegt, zo... dat zegt dan wel wat. Wauw, wat saai circuit. Als Australië was dat. En nu smeer je gewoon overal uh, lekker spul. Ja, lekker spullen. Kletsen er maar in. Wat denk je? It let me be a little bit more. You lay a little bit more on it. Take a fine part of my carton wick, like I always do, lay it on the contour line. This is for the heat of the plastic foil. It reduces the irritations on skin if they are would be there. Some little knobs and the rest I cover up. So don't go away. We'll be certainly back to show you the end result, of course. And styling. Ja, die velgt en dat willen straks allemaal. Dan moet je Hello. eigenlijk een ander kleurtje Ja, yeah, back from coloring. I use uh, a conditioner toner on her hair. It's a product of uh, Attitude, delivered in the Netherlands by Rover Hair. Protects the hair for uh, blow drying. It smells really nice. So far blow drying, now I take uh, crystal turn with a little bit uh, golden oil of Lanza. Crystal turn is a, is a gel wax, so a wonderful product. I use this amount and I give it one drop of Lanza golden oil. The hair already shines, but now I create some more shine. Nicely applying this on the hairs. Holding this hairstyle nice and soft in the natural folds. Like lekker at this, huh? Yeah. Bring out all the uh, cutting techniques so you can see them all laying into the hairs. I thank Mario Lam for being my model. I thank you for watching. We see each other next video and she will turn around to show you the end result. Bye bye, till next time. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. Marjolein, what kind of hairstyle do you want? Uh, kort? Yeah, short. Short? Of course, short. Short, of course. <laughs> um, and, and, and I would like to have some summer yeah. uh, blonde color. Yeah. Something Blatant. really different yeah, yeah, yeah. and special. Okay, it's the first time you go for blonde. Um, in the past I have had highlights. Yeah, but that's not the same. But not the same, no. Will you turn so you can see how your current hairstyle is? Yes. And it's about 
six weeks ago that you had a haircut. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much.